Raider Nation, what is the deal, man? Once again, it's your guy, Panama Fargo, and I'm back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. And today, man, we're going to be discussing how the Raiders have all pro cornerback Tredavious White set for a visit this week. We're going to go over his past seasons. We're going to assess the risk and reward. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the intro started and let's get the show cracking. is the deal once again you are back for another episode of the Raider rundown y'all know what time it is man make sure you guys are tapping on the like and on the subscribe button and please hit on that little note you get updated whenever i drop episodes to give you updates like this right here but like i was saying man we're gonna go ahead and go over how the raiders have tredavious white set for a visit this week and how i think that that's a great move. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, everybody that has been watching me, right, either on Syndicate, my own stuff, or Turf and Rundown, right, you know I've always said I don't think the Raiders should be picking a cornerback at 13, right? I don't think that's the smart move. The smarter move to me would be to acquire a veteran or to trade for somebody. I think that'd be better. I, I really don't think at pick 13, none of them corners give me any type of any type of hope let's put it like that i'm not saying they won't be good players but i think at 13 i do think it's a little too high for some of the corners now insert Tredavious white right i've always said either you go ahead and trade for one or you get a veteran now we missed out on kendall fuller that was one of my guys that i think that the raiders could have grabbed but we missed out on that now you pivot what other veterans are still out there for the taking you still got Xavier howard out there thought the raiders would be interested in that but then Tredavious White is another name that I've been intrigued by as well. Now, there's an elephant in the room as far as Tredavious White, but we're going to go ahead and talk about that a little later. But we're going to go ahead and see his career stats as far as what he's done in his career so far. Now, he was drafted in 2017, um, so he's been in the league for a minute. Uh, he's 29 years old. Right? Let's put it like that. So he's not. I thought he was older than that. He's only 29 years old. But the problem with that is the injury bug. But if you really go through and, and look at this man's stats, you know, you can see why he was considered the way he was considered when he was healthy. Right. All pro. One of the very best quarterbacks in the game. OK. You look at his career stats. He has 311 combined tackles. You know, um, now the thing that really stands out to you is the interception total right he has 18 career interceptions and the thing that really sticks out to me is when you look at his career even though he's been injury riddled right he gets his hands on the football that's the thing like ever since he's been in the league he gets his hands on the football he, he's going to get himself at least one to two interceptions right if he's fully healthy if he's fully healthy that total can increase one to four right that total can increase if you look right okay 2017 when he was drafted came in the league four interceptions there right went down a little bit in 2018 but still had two interceptions in 2018 right then you look in 2019 six interceptions right now we're going back but now here here's where we start getting all the injury riddled seasons right now you talk about um 2020 as three interceptions there 2021 only one interception 2022 one interception but these are the seasons he starts to become injury prone right so when you look at it right should the Raiders sign Tredavious White if you think about it I think it's a real low risk high reward right because I don't think that this man is going to require a huge contract right I don't think it's going to require a, a huge law lump sum of money right that that's my whole thing so would you be able to get him on the veteran cheap right and if you can get him on the veteran cheap like i said he's only 29 years old 
the man can stay healthy and he's healthy for a full 17 oh it's ugly it's ugly because you just grabbed yourself an all pro cornerback now the thing that you that you talk about here okay now he's coming off a torn acl the year prior to this year right so i say in 22 he's coming off of acl boom in 23 this past year he's coming off an achilles injury so these are things that you got to talk about now i talked to my guy cowtown salute salute to cowtown um on twitter on x about this as well i talked to some of y'all as well it gives you cause for pause right when you talk about two season ending injuries like that is major we're talking about an acl and an achilles right for a cornerback so does it limit his explosiveness does it limit his quick twitch right like these are things that we got to talk about as well because although like i said he's only 29 having those injuries that's those are major major injuries that can really derail a career right can can have you looking like you took a step back so these are things that we got to talk about um now when i i if the raiders were to sign him my prediction right would be a one-year deal right it'd probably be like a one-year deal somewhere between eight to ten million um some smooth like that and then we rock from there like i said it's very low risk high reward um so you you would you would bank on the fact that this man can stay healthy if you sign him to that you bank on the fact that he can stay healthy and if he does well he's shown like well, like we detail right in his illustrious career although it's been injury riddled he's gonna get his hands on the football and if i'm not even gonna mistake it even last year before he tore his achilles he was playing well he was playing well last year and think about that that's coming off a torn acl right that's coming off a torn acl so he was able to bounce back and he was playing pretty well until that achilles injury happened now of, of course now you're looking at this achilles injury and you say oof right like that that is that's big but like i said i think this would be the veteran right here everything works out and and the gamble pays off that can, can that can really complete this defense and you say veteran right if he can somehow manage his health right only 29 like i said how much more football can we get out of Tredavious white if he can manage his health but that's the big if that's the big if and, and that's something right there that you're gonna have to weigh in game now if it's me personally i do it that's a one-year deal I, I do it i mean it's very very low risk very low risk um and who's to say that you cannot still acquire a cornerback in the draft not at 13 but you can still get one in the draft right i think you can still get one in the draft and you still got jacorian bennett i know most of us has probably already given up on jacorian bennett but I think there's still some in the tank, right? I still so think there's some in the tank. I think there's going to be a role for him. Now, how large the role is for Bennett de depends on him and depends on the competition they bring in, right? Because if it's Tredavious White and he stays healthy, we well, can go ahead and slot Ja'Cory and Bennett in that Amik Robertson role, right? That six man off the bench, the, the, the fourth cornerback, if you will, right? That needs to come in the game in some of these dime packages and things of that nature. But if he can progress oh now we got a battle on our hands right now it's real competition for that cornerback two spot and i'm cool if he was to beat out tredavious white say jacory and bennett beats out tredavious white and camp well shit, i got all the confidence in the world baby let's do it well you know what i mean let's do it so these are things we got to think about um like i said in the draft when it comes to the draft i don't think that's the most important thing to do at 13 i don't i i think we have other holes. I would I would go trenches before I did that. I continuously said that at 13, if it's not O-line, D-line, then you have no business even picking at 13, bro, trade back. Trade back. Because then if you trade back, you get more picks. And then trading back into, say, the late teens, early 20s. Makes more sense to get a cornerback to me. And you still have the extra draft capital. So that's how I would maneuver about it, get this veteran, see what I can see um, with that. And as far as the, the draft, we move back into the draft, and we're going to select a quarterback. 13 is too high to me. But y'all let me know, would you sign Tredavious White? Um, like I detailed to you, it's probably going to be a one-year deal, 8 to $10 million. Are you fine with that? I'd be cool with it. All right, like I said, very high, low risk, high reward. We detailed his career, right? His career, he's gotten his hands on the football. He's been an all-pro before, but it's always the one elephant in the room. And I'd be damned, I always talk about it, the best ability is 
availability. We all know what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So that is something that we do have to talk about. But y'all let me know down below. Would you sign Shredavious White after a visit this week? Go ahead, detail it to me. We can talk about it, holla about it. Make sure you guys are tapping on the like, on the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting regular community posts, right? So go ahead, tap in with that as well, man, so we can go ahead and get your feedback as the topics we talk about and as far as, you know, what we want to do to change up the show. So without further ado, man, like I said, it's another episode of the Raider Rundown, and y'all know I keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on the Raider Rundown.